Hi guys, welcome back to Sim Racing 3. I'll be showing you a more detailed guide for the Quest 2 that I've been uh, tweaking for many hours and days for specifically for iRacing. Anyway, my I'm running only a RTX uh, 2060 with a Ryzen 7 2700X uh, processor. So I managed to uh, managed to hold a, a 90 FPS. Uh, sometimes it has a dip on like uh, probably like 87 kind of thing. Let me just show you what I I, I do for my 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 tweaks and, and my 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 settings updates for the whole VR optimization kind of guide. Let's go in. First thing I did was I adjusted the media control panel. Got to move into here, and uh, you got to go into manage 3D settings, program settings, and then uh, look for this, or you can add a file for this. This is my updated uh build that I I changed, the one mostly on uh, the one highlighted in bold. Let's do a scroll, uh, scroll down for you guys. And uh, the, I think it's the one issue, the most important thing is the one thing here. Just put it to two. This is what I adjusted. You have a try on your settings. Uh, I think if I'm running only a RTX 2060 and I'm recently, I mean, I'm getting good, uh, good image quality on, on the VR headset Quest 2. So this is the first thing that I did. And then uh, I went into. Let me show you my resolution for the Oculus Quest 2. So this is what I had change. I managed to bring it up to 90Hz with a 4.208, that is a 1.3 times resolution. So this is my settings. And okay, I, I do need this now. And let's move on to the renderer. The renderer, the i9 file, so everything. Okay, uh, that will be in here. All of what? Huh? Okay guys, uh, it's a bit, uh, what I do is uh, I'll just go slow during the parts that are adjusted, technically uh, let's take a look at, I will just highlight them in like what I, I used to, I remove this, yep, make it to zero, just make it to zero, sharpening clamp I increase from 125 to 150, so I, I think it's just the same thing, I, I didn't stop that. Uh, what else? Yeah. Remove heat haze, yeah, alright. And what else we need is. Max copy, I think two will be enough. Don't really look right side with the time you know. Uh, If you want, you can use a virtual mirror, but I don't. Get more realism feel in the VR. This is all the settings. For instance, I, I off it. And this is what I changing in uh, what I can change here. Okay, this LOD right is also quite important, but just leave it to the original settings. You know what I mean? The default one. This is something that I, I've not changed. Okay, this is all the settings here. NT I'm using a uh, 16x. Four turret on. Driver hand yeah. Yes. And uh, what else I did was uh, no swaying of trees yeah. I will, I will probably, maybe I'll leave this document, I mean, I'll, I'll just copy mine and I'll paste it in the, in the link below so that you guys can just uh, extract it and then just use it for yourself. Okay, then I, I think, uh, I this, uh, this one that most of them, they said that they increase it, but I, I'm just using the original, 100 100, the best. You gotta leave this to one, uh, something to do with GUI, uh, GUI rendering. Don't have this, I think it's 10. Uh, AG. For the GUI. That will be all. Okay, replay graphics are, are just your own preference. Uh, doesn't matter how you want your replays to look like. Okay, so when I'm done with here, what else I did was I going to Okay guys, now before you run iRacing, we were going to be I'm gonna be showing you uh 
you gotta dis I mean I'm gonna show you how to disable uh, ASW and I, I always ensure it, it's off before I, I run my iRacing software so uh, I created yeah I will just bring this to folder here okay so normally I will whenever I run it just goes back to auto whenever uh, oculus software like this will be when it's running or it, when you close and then it just goes back to auto so what I do is I always turn this on leave it on and I'm trying to trying to make it tell me that I want it to be always auto and always remember to uh, use it under administrator mode here yeah? so I kind of created a, a batch file like, I mean like more like a coding kind of thing where you gotta put and tell tell the oculus debug tool that I want it always on whenever I, I use it so I will be showing you what I did I created a a, a text document but before I created that I, I let me show you Sorry on that. So uh I, I got to create this command at the target when I go properties, right? On the target menu. You're gonna put this ASW of text. This is the text file that you're asking this to run. Whenever I click this, run this software, which is this file here. Uh and it's in the Oculus Debug tool. And you gotta put this code there. I will put the this code uh on the on the description below so that it's easier for you guys to just copy and paste it. So when I when I run this app now, what I create is just a normal notepad, but you know notepad is also a programming uh programming source code uh programming like software. You can use it. So you just gotta click uh click this code here, type it in, I mean or uh, you can just copy and paste mine, save it, and then remember to put it into your Oculus Diagnostic uh duck tool. So let me just show you for example what it does, okay? For me I'm going to put this to now uh run auto. Let me just confirm if it's going to be auto. Okay. So now it's in under auto, right? It's confirmed in under auto. So what I just do is whenever I I, I just uh before I run my eye racing or any software that I, I I require my VR to be on, I'll just double click this. It will do a programming there, and whenever I check back on this, it will be disabled. So uh, it's much more like you confirm that it, uh ASW is off. You know what I mean? And another thing to take note guys, uh, your encode resolution width, uh, I always put this the same with my, I'm using this the same as the second number for my graphic settings here, reference, 2128. Okay, so uh, that's what I did and also I, I encode bit rate, I use a 500, the max. I think it's 100 to 500, uh, I use a max. Uh, if you have experiencing any issues, I, I'm not too sure if that's because of the the original Oculus Link cable, because I'm using the original one, so have a try. If it's going to be very bad, uh, bring down to maybe three fifty and start start raising from there. I think it makes a difference to you uh tra the, the transferring speed, so that you are getting the the higher high resolutions and being transferred through a cable. So that's also make a difference there. So that is about that. And now let's uh let me show you the graphics settings that uh, I've set in my iRacing itself. Okay guys, so now I'm in the VR headset. Uh I just run uh using the F3 the Lagos. So uh let me show you my, my graphic settings that I, I've changed in my VR. I mean for my VR graphic options. So yeah, this is what I do. I do a, like a custom kind of set. I, I keep my Sky low, my cars high definitely. You will want to keep those that you don't need uh off. Like for example, bit I just leave it low that I maybe it's required. Off the grandstands, off crowds, yeah. Objects high, good. Max cars depending on your series. Uh, if you're running the IMSA, you can do it like maybe sixty cars. Depends on how many your grades are. So uh, drawing rate depends on your if you have better guards, better graphic card like maybe the twenty eighty. TI and above or 2070 super, you can do more. Uh, I, I limit this my FPS for my Quest 2 which is 90 at the moment. So this frame rate limiter is not going to affect your VR performance. It's the one that is going to be showing your screen. So you will have like maybe a a good screen, but you don't need really if you don't really require like like rendering like like very high there. If you have like a 60, my I have a monitor for 60, so I limit my my frames to my monitor. 
So this flex pre-rendered frame is just limited to one, it's so reflecting not affecting your VR performance. It's just for your monitor refresh. So that's when you have a, like a dual SLI or, or configuration, but it's not going to be very beautiful in iRacing. I think it's not optimized for that. So uh, what I, I have to do for my max pre-render is I got to change it from the DPR control panel, which I have shown you guys earlier. Uh, virtual reality uh, pre-render frames to number two. That's where I get uh, two frames every time rendering extra. So that you don't get, uh, you get a very smooth image. Lah. So your quality becomes older, I will see. I run a 16x for filtering, and AA samples. If you have a very better, I mean, very good card, uh, you can do maybe like 4x or 8x. I I I, I always pref my preference is to keep the track data. I, I don't really use the tie data. Uh, it's not really as much travel the all things. So uh, shadow maps is maybe uh, for my tracks and cars only. I I turn this dynamic object off. Night shadows are all this off. Number of lights is the default tree. No filter. Yeah. Uh, you can try with filter and all, but I don't see any much difference. So, uh, play around if you see that that you it's still. Shader quality always leave it to ultra because that's uh like it's not going to be taxing your FPS, but it's going to be a very good trade off for your, uh, your for your details and everything. So show driver yeah. Uh, in VR you definitely need that because without that you feel driving like a no car steering wheel kind of thing. It's awkward. So I, I leave this off. Yeah, cockpit mirrors I always leave it too because uh for in for for like GT3 cars, uh it's a priority for your left mirror and your side or your center mirror. So I don't really look at the right mirror because you don't really sometimes you can't see much there, so it's not gonna be affecting that. Uh and you can rely on your spotter and your crew chief. So I hit lights, I I just leave it to low detail. Uh I've not really seen any much difference there. Uh if you don't really use cockpit mirrors, you can use a virtual mirror. Uh, choose one of them. Uh, I think one is a, a trade-off, but I like to like the realism in the car. And the, the trade-off for all this optimization, I think it's a very good effect for or you to enable happening. It's a very good uh, effect. I, I think it's a lot of different. You get a lot more crisp uh, image out of everything. So, uh, the very good thing that to have in VR, you will see the difference. Uh, trust me. Uh, you try it. So and also your two zero four eight times two zero four eight car textures is your paint jobs and your what you see in your car. If you don't have this enable, I think it's going to be in one zero two four kind of resolution, which you feel like the 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 the, the image is being blur. Uh, it gets like it gets much up kind of thing. So, I highly advise to have this. Okay, and the most another important factor is your slider. I always tend to use like a. Uh, Depend on the track, uh, your current load and your current load and your current the current load for your GPU and your RAM depends on the on the rack on the track actually. So depends on what how much thing is rendering and your, your load for your GPU and your performance. So I always leave this uh, at least two gig more for my slider. So same for my GPU and my sixteen gig RAM. I'm using a sixteen gig RAM uh, DDR4 thirty six hundred megahertz. So this is the two sliders that uh it's very quite important. You don't never use the Max because your PC you still utilizes your, your background, your other apps and your other processes to run. So that's so important. So this is what you need. And uh yeah, for mine you will see some uh page fault that I'm gonna show you now. I'm gonna explain that in a moment. Okay, you see the P right on my right screen. Uh because this is because I, I'm also recording this video. And also recording it at a very high bit rate. I think it's about forty thousand uh, max bit rate kind of recording. So that explains this. Uh, when I'm not recording, it goes back to like barely you know you don't notice uh, barely noticeable noticeable, like uh, one line kind of thing. And even streaming, I I don't have this thing. So it's only when recording my videos. So it's I, I get this, but it doesn't affect my my performance in my driving though. I mean in in the FPS kind of rate. And I'm last like looking around. If you just notice my FPS there is still holding on 89 in what they show there. But in the actual term it's still holding at 90. So yeah, so now let me just show you the, the, the track if I'm gonna move around if it's gonna be any driven any any driven factor to to have a FPS limit on my graphic. Uh if you see any like shuttering, I don't think you will notice that. So now I'm just running out of pace and just going over very relaxed kind of thing and just looking around and like a cruise kind of driving. 
And because you see the rendering for this is like uh, there's a big like buildings in front and there's a lot of sceneries here. And and the, and the signboard looks quite good, like like fifty and hundred and like quite quite clips and all. Okay, the rendering is taking effect, but it's still not. Uh, I don't get any frame shutter. And because of this ASW, right? If you have like a uh, very slight performance drop in your GPU, they just cap down to forty-five, and then you bring bring you bring it back up when it's ready to render the stuff and all but which is I don't think you need when you have like a, a normal PC but if you have a lower GPU maybe like a thousand like one zero six zero probably I think you can use that it's uh, gonna help you so from my experience I'm looking at a Quest 2 now it's pretty damn good in a car I've tried various differences I even uh, was running uh, the initial time I thought my, 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 my GPU is not gonna be good enough so I was doing 72 refre uh, Hertz refresh rate for my Oculus Quest 2 and I always get my R which is the CPU constraint always in yellow I have no idea what is the issue but I think that maybe my, my CPU I have a Ryzen 7 3700 the core is being utilized maximum for the iRacing I think iRacing user uses most of one core or two core at the max I guess so that's the constraint there but when I the, the surprising thing is when I increase it to 90 Hertz and I when I run the resolution the same with my 72 Hertz I I, I just get Marston Gray no drops or FPS I tried I've tried this with uh, GT3 cars in uh, anywhere I mean most of the places I think it was altered I also tried uh, AI racing with like 30 cars on the grid with uh, Dalarak LMP2 cast with high rendering with F3 cast. Uh, Monza, I tried. Barcelona, I tried. So it's all pretty decent for the image now. And before I was running, it's totally awkward. I think it's just because of me. I just want it to run perfectly, and I just have this uh, thing we come to do is settings and setting up tweaks and software stuff kind of thing. To interest me to make it work so yeah this is the setting that I'm running and if you notice that uh, it's pretty damn good and I mean I'm not getting any frame shutters or any FPS drops and even if you look at the mirror it's still oh <laughs> wow <laughs> the mirror distracts you <laughs> when I was looking at the mirror I straight I went into the pits <laughs> That's, 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 that's funny. But, mirror looks so cool. I mean, it would be nice if they can maybe put a helmet coming out because my head is out of the car, right? If you can render the mirror with your helmet. Oh my god, this could be very real, but definitely it's going to cost you more memory and your video RAM. So guys, uh, leave a comment down below if you have any issues that you're facing. I'll be happy to help you guys. Or you can even drop by to my Discord link, it will be provided below. Uh, I'll be very happy to assist if I'm not seeing your messages, just drop me a personal message to my Discord. Uh, what else I will do is uh, let me know if you guys have uh, any uh, any better updates or anything that I've missed out. Uh, feel free to just add up and let's have a better like uh, uh, resolution for Quest Man. It's, it's really, I think it's very good. For the current technology to, to have. And it's amazing, I'm like, fish, I'm just enjoying it now, man. Uh, so, yeah, guys, uh, okay, I was just distracted there in the VR world. So, guys, uh, if you guys enjoy the, the video and uh, do remember to like uh, give a follow and like and do your support, it'll be very greatly appreciated, man. Uh, what I, I'll be willing to do more videos like this, like uh, tech stuff and helping you guys with iRacing and various sims. But I'm just focused on uh, VR for iRacing at the moment. Uh, I don't think my PC will be able to hold up for ACC. So I have not tried. Maybe that's the next adventure. So pretty much, uh, 
I will see you guys in the next one and I hope you guys enjoy the video. And let me just enjoy a few more laps and see you guys in the next one, man. Take care, guys, and have a nice day.